Hey guys, John V from Phone Money here, live at MWC 2014 here in Barcelona, Spain, which wrapped up the Samsung Presser event. I'm doing a first hand look between the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the S4, so it's Lash's flagship versus the newly announced device overtaking it. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. So let's get right into it. So first, let's talk about the design. And you can tell from the front here, you hardly notice a difference. It's exactly alike. In terms of overall footprint, the weight, type materials, it's pretty much similar to one another. Plastic bodies, but with the Galaxy S4, it is a glossy finish, which maintains, you know, a nice, you know, polished look, um, but depending on the color, you know, the uh, white here, sometimes you can see a little bit of smudged fingerprints. They kind of changed that up just because with the S5, it now has a textured pattern design. It's actually this uh, this rubbery material, material similar, similar to the Note 3 rear casing, but you have these dimple pattern. Again, just giving it a refresh appearance, and it's, it feels better just because of the sophisticated type of material they use versus the plastic. But as far as construction and build quality, we'd say both are identical. So as far as the uh, placement the buttons and everything around the sides, they're pretty much identical. You can see below the display here, let's see if you can focus this here. So below the display, you're gonna have the, uh, the home button here, but with the Galaxy S5, it actually incorporates a fingerprint sensor, so you could use it to unlock the device and also, uh, you know, uh, make mobile payments. So that's, that's something new and different. You have on the right edge, you have the power buttons and also the just the power buttons, of course. The left, you have the volume controls and the typical placements. Up top, you have see here three and a half millimeter headset jacks. You have the um, you have the noise cancellation microphones, and you have also the IR blasters. So they actually um, you know, double as universal remotes. And in the rear, you have their cameras. So the cameras here, you have a 13 megapixel autofocus camera in the S4. They've kind of jumped up a little bit with the S5 with a 16 megapixel camera. You can see how they both kind of jut out, but the uh, S5's camera sensor seems to be a little bit, it seems to stick out more. They both have LED flashers and shoot 1080p video, but the neat thing about the S5 though is that it has a uh, it has a pulse monitor right there, a heart rate monitor. So basically you can put your finger over it and measure your pulse. So that's something new and different that we haven't seen before. Uh, I believe they also have, they also feature uh, expandable storage. Um, and as far as the performance, you can see here right at the bat, even with a static home screen, the S5 does a better job of having a snappier feel. We know that we just see just some slowdown, some jitteriness with the S S4's performance. The S5 though just has a very cleaner, you know, cleaner movement. That's a tribute to its newer processor and faster processor. Um, and the experience, honestly, from the uh, as we look into like the different uh, widgets and stuff, uh, it's a little bit cleaner looking with the S5 and its new set of widgets. It's not as intense compared to the S4 uh, touch with nature US experience. And the S5 really takes a step because they've kind of enhanced many aspects of the experience. For example, the uh, life portion, the S Health, um, it works in conjunction with that the heart rate monitor, so you get really accurate results with your fitness. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That's a quick first look between these two devices, Samsung Galaxy S5 and the Samsung Galaxy S4. So if you want to learn more about either device, you can check out our website, phonearena.com. John V. Thanks for watching.